what is definitely true at Columbia, um, to whom I owe a great deal, I love the institution, but there is a black Columbia, unofficially, who I think unofficially but conclusively pretend that I do not exist. It's obvious that there is a general idea among Columbia's black faculty that I am someone where it would be best to pretend that I'm not around and to you know, avoid me getting any more attention than I already do. No one's ever told me this, but it's just that I've been there for 15 years and there are certain things that have never happened. I've never been asked to guest lecture in class. I have never been asked to participate on a panel. You know, there'll be posters all over campus of some august panel of people, depending on when it is. You know, it's ta Coates, it's William Jelani Cobb. I've never never been asked to be part of any of those things. I'm sure there is an informal black faculty social organization at Columbia. Even if it's not on paper, I have never been invited to join it. And I'm sure some of them would say that it seems to me that I wouldn't want to, but frankly, they started it and there were never any gestures of that kind. And the truth is, people should understand, I'm not complaining in that, honestly, it sounds bad when somebody busy says this because it makes it sound like you think other people aren't busy, but I've got so much to do that I wouldn't have time to do most of those things anyway. But the fact is that I'm not asked. And frankly, it's it's not right, especially because, you know, even if I had extreme hard right views, it wouldn't be right, but maybe it would be more understandable. But in my case, frankly, I'm just a cranky moderate. And yet I'm not allowed to join in the reindeer games because I'm kind of not the right kind. It's not right. You know, I'll actually give one more anecdote just for posterity in case I get hit by a bus. This is, <laughs> this is how these things manifest themselves in real life. It's not a bunch of people turning their backs on you and walking away. The, the linguistics program became a major some years ago. We had to make it into an official major instead of one that you had to petition to create. And it was my job to make it a major. And so suddenly, you know, I had to deal with administration for a time, which is not my forte. But I, I stepped up because that's what I had to do. There was one meeting with a bunch of, you know, august faculty and administrators where I was making my case. I actually put on a jacket, making my case that linguistics <laughs> needs to be a major. And everybody's so enthusiastic. You know, everybody loves linguistics from a distance. I'm frankly the you know, one of the black faculty members. I've got a little bit of a public presence. Everybody's happy to see me. One person wasn't. There were about 15 people sitting around a table. One of them was a black male historian. And he is the one person. In the five years that I was dealing with trying to make linguistics a major, luckily it did happen, the one person who wasn't happy to see me it was the one person who gave me trouble, bringing up all these administrative procedures that he says I haven't gone through, not enthusiastic. Now, was that an accident? No. I frankly don't remember the name of this person, but it was clear he didn't like me. He knew who I was and he wanted to give me a hard time. That's not right. I didn't do anything to deserve it. It's not right. No. Yeah. And you're too much of a gentleman to make a scene, uh, which you could have, and I might have, uh, had I been in, in your shoes, which is why Columbia hasn't hired me yet. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah. Yeah, well, you guys, you guys, you guys are going to sponsor me. Take a look at this guy. He's still got some juice left. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I've got a little juice left. Well, let, least, me, uh, let me just go on the record here a little bit since we're talking about how we've been treated by our universities. I don't want people to have an inference about my case. That's not true. I've been treated well at Brown on the whole. Ruth Simmons, African-American woman, now uh, retired from her presidency at Brown University, brought me in. In 2005, I was warmly greeted by colleagues in Afro-American. They call it Africana studies and the Center for Race and Ethnicity, which studies that subjects I was writing. Left of center in 2005, believe it or not, Dan. I, uh, I was on the incarceration thing. You know, my uh, Tanner lectures were in the works at that time and so forth. And uh, I bonded with people. Ruth uh, asked me to chair a committee that was looking into how to follow up on the slavery and justice report, which was the revelation of Brown's long involvement the Brown family in the slave trade and the commerce associated therewith, creation of archives, uh, the launching of a research center who, whose director, uh, Tony Bogues, is an a, a acquaintance of mine. I've been invited to the conferences and so forth and so on. But, but I don't know when it starts. I guess it starts with Trayvon Martin. Um, and then there's uh, Michael Brown and, you know, and then there, you know, and then there's Black Lives Matter and then there's a racial reckoning. And we went through a thing. 
<laughs> it culminated in the summer of 2020. I, I felt like I needed to plant a flag on some stuff. I needed to call bullshit on some stuff. And <laughs> ever since I started writing in places like Quillette.com and, uh, you know, the Manhattan Institute City Journal, and I started objecting to virtue signaling and uh, empty rhetoric, and I, I started trying to say a university is not a, ch- a cheerleader for political fads. Yeah. We, we're in it for the long run uh, and, and stuff like that. The invitations right. have, have dried up. That, that was going to be my conclusion. Of, yeah. well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here on campus. I'm the Merton Stones professor, blah, blah. But I, I don't get invited to the conferences and I, you know, or the cocktail parties on the Afro side uh, anymore. Uh, God bless them. 